Oh. And so does Camby Brown. She's joining us live this morning with how they're rallying the runners to get prepared before they hit the pavement. Hi, Camby. Good morning. So if your resolution was to get healthier or maybe start running, this is the perfect opportunity for you to sign up for the Shamrock and Half Marathon, or you can do the 10K. Maybe start with the 5K. It is a really fun race. I don't know about running it, but I do know as a spectator, it's fun to see everybody ending there <laughs> at Rayleigh Field. Now, we're at Fleet Feet this morning. You guys are doing a huge resolution rally. First, let's talk about some gear because Tiffany looks beautiful, which not everyone's going to look this great when they're running, okay? <laughs> That's okay, though. That's okay. What are some of the gear that people should really invest in? Well, this time of the year, especially with it raining, an outer shell works really, really well. Uh, the one we have Tiffany in today is a Brooks piece that uh, is actually vented on the side, so she's not going to overheat. And then you can take it off easily, too, in case it stops raining or in case you get too hot. And then what about uh, the leggings that she's wearing, too? Yep, this time of year, again, depending on how much heat you generate, you might opt for shorts or tights, um, but oftentimes we see a lot of tights this year. Okay, you're going to help people out with this resolution rally. It's this Saturday here at Fleet Feet on the corner of 23rd and J, 9 to 11. You guys have a lot of resources. What's the trick to keeping your resolution? Well, I think the trick to keeping a resolution is a support system, and that's really what Fleet Feet Sports tries to be each and every day, and the rally is really meant to highlight that. We're trying to pull together everybody in the community to come out and let them know all the resources that we have so that these resolutions actually become realities for people. Yeah, one of the big things, too, Dusty mentioned, you want to do something four days a week. If you only do it three days a week, then the majority of your week, you're not doing it. Now, the Shamrock and Half Marathon, they've partnered with the Triumph Foundation in the past. This year, all of the proceeds to the Shamrock and Half Marathon benefit the Triumph Foundation. Wendy, you had cancer two years ago, and then you started with the Triumph Foundation working out with them. Why does that make such a huge difference after going through so much treatment to then have that support system? Well, it's really difficult to come back from the cancer treatment itself. And to be able to work with a group of people who've experienced the same thing that you've been through and to help you make those steps to um, regain your stability, your stamina, and most important, your um, joy. And that's what I like to say Triumph Cancer Foundation did for me, is it helped me find my joy again after being through such a life-threatening experience. It's difficult to go into a gymnasium where everyone is energized and going and you're just feeling like you're getting yourself just up and walking in there and working out with a group of people that understand that is so supportive and it's a small group eight people and three trainers yeah and, and it's, it's all free and that is why it's so important fleet feet trying to raise twenty five thousand dollars with the shamrock and half marathon please come to the resolution rally this saturday nine to eleven but most importantly ken i know you're gonna love this what's up man bun right here ah. you can't see the man bun because he's wearing his beanie ah. But he is going to donate money hey, to the cause if we get 2,000 people to sign up. Way to go, so, Patrick. Man Patrick? Bun, That's Patrick yeah. Carpenter. Please. Yeah. I want Live to take his money. Oh, Bethany, girl, we don't call him Patrick. Okay? No, it's not Patrick, Patrick, Patrick anymore. You're new to the game here at Good Day. We call him Man Bun. That's MB. his official MB title. For sure. There you Got go. It. And okay. he's everywhere. Camby, thank you so much. <laughs> he is Great everywhere. information. Yeah, and he's the, everywhere. The Shamrockin is the my first and only half marathon really? that I've ever run. And it was it was fantastic. Good it, for you. It was beautiful. And it is really fun to end there at Rayleigh Field. And the energy and the enthusiasm, it's a great, easy race to start yourself out in if you. And I agree with Camby. Long. It's great to watch people run that. <laughs> I'm not doing it, but my wife's done about four or five of them. I yeah, love I to watch. Say, your wife, 